हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल निधि प्रकाश आर्ट्स दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑल अबाउट मिक्स्ड मीडिया आर्टवर्क नेम्ड फॉलो योर ड्रीम्स आई विल टेल यू ऑल द स्टेप्स व्हिच यू नीड टू टेक टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ आर्टवर्क So let's start. You need to take a canvas panel of size 11 by 14. You can take this canvas of any brand and then color the panel with dark brown acrylic color. Then choose any vintage theme card stock. I chose Tim Holtz ideology card stock. You can choose any vintage style and then tear that card stock paper. with your hands with your fingers and spread them on the canvas spread them everywhere leave some edges at the end and please don't use scissors for tearing do it with fingers because when you tear it with scissors it won't work well then stick the torn pieces over the canvas with the mod podge or any gel medium you can add some tissue papers to the base also to give some accent and then we are going to use some gelato sticks to give some dimension to our base here is a list of all the gelato sticks which i used and these are the two stencils which i have used to give some dimensions to the base after giving random patterns lay down some vintage theme gelato colors in between card stocks and at the edges also so that it all look the same and the one inclusive pattern on the base so as you see now our base is pretty much ready we are done with the gelatos and the stencils so now it's turn for the butterfly so this is the first butterfly you can get the picture of this butterfly from the description below this video we start coloring and layering this butterfly with all the warm colors all yellows oranges and reds then we will start the second butterfly after that you can get the image of this butterfly in the description below and then again you will use the same warm colors and the layering technique to make this butterfly you can use the head pins and just turn them a little bit and stick them in behind the head of the butterfly to make the antlers and then use the mod podge or any other luster medium to give the shine to the butterfly so we are done with the both butterflies now and we'll make the tag follow your dreams to make that tag we need some stuff stuff like follow your dreams stamp and the archival ink pad and a thick card stock to make the tag preferably the card stock should be of the toned tan color and then we are going to use the soft pastel to draw this dragonfly and this will give a very different texture as you know mixed media art is not only about the different mediums and different materials but about different textures also different dimensions also now as you see our base is almost ready and now we'll set up our both butterflies and the tag follow your dreams to give some more accent i use some dragonfly stamp to put on the base to give it just more life and accent as you see this is the final project we have completed i hope you enjoy the whole process and you can make it if you have any questions please comment thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe thank you